Well, we're out in the garden again, doing a bit of harvesting, as is typical this time of year. And uh, we just wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about one of our favorite varieties of squash that uh, we grow. And that's yellow crookneck squash, which is a summer squash variety. So I'm going to uh, take you behind me and uh, take a look at these plants. We are kind of getting to the end of, uh, end of the season for it. Now there are some other varieties of squash in the other various species of squash that have crookneck as part of their name, such as their uh, Canada crookneck squash, which are actually uh, totally different species. So these are our plants. This is our uh, little patch of uh, yellow crookneck squash. This particular variety is, uh, is a variety of Cuba pepo. For us, just to keep things simple, we actually made the decision to grow this variety overgrowing zucchini as uh, the two will cross. Now you can hand pollinate, but that just makes things more difficult. These plants are getting to the end of their life. We're starting to get some powdery mildew, but that's pretty normal for uh, Cuba pepo varieties when you get to the end of, uh, end of the season. But the, uh, the bumblebees are still super active in here. So we'll uh, take a peek under all this foliage and see if we can find some squash. So right here is uh, a really nice looking young yellow crookneck squash. Now this one for us, we'd probably let it get a little bit bigger, but definitely harvest it in the next couple of days. This variety, of course, has its characteristic crooked or crook neck. We really enjoy this in sort of this state where, uh, you can't really see it probably, but the skin is still quite soft. They're great for fresh eating, frying, stir fries, all that sort of stuff, but they also have a great shelf life, i.e. they're very easy to preserve. And uh, our principal method of preserving is uh, freezing, but uh, you can also can them. This particular variety is a summer squash variety, and uh, it's principally harvested for those younger, uh, younger squash that they haven't quite developed, well-developed seeds yet. I will take you in a moment and show you what they look like when they go past the prime. Unlike some of the winter squashes, when they get to that point, they're not edible. So the trick is the same as zucchini. You want to keep picking, keep picking, keep picking. And uh, this is a fairly prolific variety. We have tracked, but I don't know what we're up to yet, but how many pounds we've produced from the small patch. And uh, typically they're ready for, so your first harvest around uh, 40 to 50 days, somewhere in that range before you get your first squash. But once they start producing, they usually keep producing right up to frost. So this right here is an excellent example of what these squash look like when they've gone well past their prime. So this particular one, we've let it uh, get this mature basically because we do want the seeds. If you let them get to this point, they basically become almost like an inedible gourd. <laughs> the, uh, the flesh that you would normally eat is pretty much gone. So like a lot of summer squashes, they are uh, really best used when they're in their young tender state. So as we kind of go around these these plants, uh, not necessarily the most exciting plant going, but as we mentioned, they're very useful and very versatile. So as far as from a, from a cooking perspective, we like the flavor of these better than zucchini. They're, they're a bit firmer, uh, the flesh is a bit firmer, and that's what kind of makes it lend itself well to a variety of storage options. Do a lot of canning recipes with them. So they're very versatile that way, but we also freeze them and they, they freeze very well for use in stir fries or, or various dishes later. Now they're not the same as a fresh young one when, when you have frozen, but uh, in our opinion, compared to zucchini, they're, uh, they're a lot more versatile for use beyond the, uh, the summer period. Now of course, you can use these exactly the same way as zucchini in any recipe that calls for zucchini from bread recipes to uh, you name it. Basically they are just as versatile, but if you want to try something a little different from zucchini that still is prolific, we would definitely suggest, highly, highly suggest this particular variety of Cuba pepo or summer squash uh, for your garden. 